Welcome back to Island Life Live Migraine. Just saying the word makes my head hurt, but it's not just a bad headache. It's a disabling disease that affects 39 million people in the United States. Our next guests come from Hawaii Pacific Neurology, Neuroscience, and they're here to help with new technology and treatments for managing migraine headaches. That's right, we have Dr. Corey Leo. He is a neurologist and researcher from Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience, HPN's Headache Research Unit. I'm so glad you guys have a headache research unit because we got a lot of headaches we gotta deal with. Yeah. And we also have Dr. Ong Jong. Angeline Kim is the Headache Neurologist Director, Headache Center, um, and for the Headache Center, but aloha and welcome. Corey Thank and you. Yeah, thanks for having yes. us, yeah. yeah. All right. So doctors, you are in the headache business. <laughs> yes. Can you share with our audience what the different types of headaches there are? I didn't even know that there were different types, honestly. Yeah, so headache is actually very common, like you mentioned, it affects one in two uh, adults every year. Oh about 4% of adults have chronic headache, which yeah. means that they have more than 15 days per month of headache. Wow. And some of the common headaches in the young people, especially are tension headache. Those are the one that around the neck, the head, you know. It kind of like when you get stressed out, you feel those things, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, and definitely. then the other, other common ones are migraine headaches, uh, the one that you get nauseated, you could throw up, you kind of didn't want to look at the lights, you know. Yeah. So those are more common in young people. Wow. In the older folks, you know, uh, um, uh, kupuna, uh, other type of headaches could happen. They're more like uh, if especially the headaches are new or especially in the morning, then you worry about headaches that are a little bit more dangerous like brain tumor or mm. stroke. So always be careful, check with the doctors if you're not sure. Yeah, We, lo we, we love this information, this is so important. Dr. Kim, how is technology helping to manage these headaches though? Yeah, so technology is changing how we manage headaches from very simple like headache tracking tools to more advanced neuromodulation devices. Mm. For simple tracking tools, they're on cell phones. They allow patients to log their symptoms, like duration, frequency, medication mm. uses. And this allows the uh, doctor to track their patterns of the headaches and then personalize their treatment. On the more advanced side, there are five FDA cleared neuromodulation devices out there now. They are wearable device mm. uh, on the head or neck or the arm and they use gentle electrical or magnetic stimulations to modulate mm. pain pathways and then reduce the headache frequency or severity without using medications. So that's a brilliant. Really, yeah, that's a really cool. I love yeah. that, I love that. Yeah. Now HPN has been recognized nationally, congratulations, for its neuroscience care and research. What are some of the new advances in headache research? Yeah, so in some of the stuff that you just shared with us. Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, so other than the neuromodulation devices, in recent years there have been like significant achievements in headache research, and one breakthrough was CGRP inhibitors. Hmm. Those are the medications that block this protein CGRP, calcitonin gene-related peptide. This protein is involved in uh, migraine pathophysiology. And by blocking these proteins, uh, you can this, these medications can reduce frequency and prevent headaches, or even treat during the headaches. So, uh, but these medications come in various forms: oral pills, nasal sprays, monthly injections, or even IV infusions. Wow. And unlike yeah. the old medications like triptans, these medications don't constrict the blood vessels, which making them a safer option for many patients. And then there's a Amazing. new, uh, interesting, like a promising area of research is another protein called PACAP inhibitors. And they blocked this another protein that we found that seems to be linked in migraine pathophysiology. And recently, there's a phase two clinical trials that show that blocking these proteins reduce migraine frequency. So if further start studies confirm these findings, this could be our new uh, targeted migraine therapy. I wow. love exciting. this. You know, yeah. I think to myself, I, when I'm having a headache, I go home and I tell my husband, can you just put your hands inside my hair and just poo, poo, poo? <laughs> you know, just, like, that's the only thing that <laughs> I can think of. Yeah. 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 Help, you know, relieve yeah. the pain. It's so good to know that right here in Hawaii that we have an entire uh, entire science center that is dedicated yeah. to bringing us, you know, uh, yeah. you know, just taking away some of the pain so that we can go through mm -hmm. our day, mm -hmm. our daily life, right? That's, that's the poo therapy. It's yeah, good yeah. too. <laughs> 
How can we follow and, and find out a little bit more about what you folks do? How can people follow you? Yeah, yeah. so one of the exciting things that we have is uh, doing research. We also want to have some approved therapy, but one of the exciting things, because people who has been getting, for example, to be getting botulinum toxin injection, sometimes they develop tolerance, they can stop working. So one of the research that we're doing is uh, testing another new drug that is less likely to develop tolerance. So um, if patients are interested or if they develop resistance, the current treatment doesn't work, or they have questions, you know, please call us. We want to help. Beautiful. You know, uh, we have a wonderful Dr. Kim is here. She's wonderful. She want to help. Call us at 564-6141 if they're interested in research, or the headache clinic at 261-4476. Thank oh, you so much. That's great. Beautiful. Yeah. Dr. Cory Leo and Dr. Onjong, um, <laughs> Angeline Kim, we appreciate you folks very much for the Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. All right, kicking back into this. Today is National Battery Day, guys. How many batteries do Americans purchase every year? Is it 3 million, 30 million, 300 million, or 3 billion? We're going to get you this answer right after the break, along with You Gotta Hear This.